Happiness, as commonly perceived, transcends mere moments of joy or pleasure. It is a state of being that emerges when we align with the natural rhythm of life, embracing both its peaks and valleys with equanimity and understanding. Imagine happiness not as a fleeting emotion, but as a profound realization and insight into the interconnectedness of all things. In our journey today, we venture into the depths of this understanding, drawing upon the timeless teachings that remind us of the cyclical nature of existence. Just as the tides rise and fall, so too do our experiences fluctuate between light and dark, joy and sorrow. And this dance of opposites is not a struggle to be won or lost, but a continuous flow, where each aspect complements the other in the grand symphony of life our perception of happiness. He urges us to see beyond the surface level of emotions and recognize that true happiness lies in embracing the entirety of our experience. It is in our willingness to accept life's inherent duality, its gooey prickles and prickly goo, that we find liberation from the cycle of craving and aversion. The notion that happiness is dependent on external circumstances or achievements Instead, he proposes that happiness arises from within, from an understanding of our interconnectedness with the universe. But when we realize that we are not separate observers, but integral parts of a cosmic dance, we begin to experience a profound sense of joy and fulfillment that transcends the fleeting pleasures of the material world. Imagine, if you will, a cosmos where the light of consciousness and the darkness of unconsciousness dance together endlessly. This dance, much like the ebb and flow of the tides, reflects the fundamental nature of existence itself. This dance is the dynamic interplay between our awakened awareness and the deeper, often hidden realms of our psyche. In our everyday lives, we often find ourselves resisting this natural dance. We label certain experiences as unpleasant or undesirable, seeking to push them away while grasping desperately at moments of joy or success. Resistance only amplifies our suffering. It is in our acceptance of life's inherent duality, its gooey prickles and prickly goo, that we find true liberation. A different perspective on happiness, one that transcends the conventional understanding of fleeting emotions. He suggests that true happiness emerges when we embrace both the light and the shadow aspects of our existence. This acceptance does not mean resignation or passivity, but rather a profound understanding that every experience, whether perceived as positive or negative, contributes to the richness of our human journey. Perception plays a pivotal role in our experience of happiness and reality. How we perceive the world around us, our thoughts, beliefs and interpretations shapes our experience more profoundly than we often realize. In his profound teachings, invites us to reconsider the power of perception and its impact on our happiness. Imagine for a moment that happiness is not solely determined by external events or circumstances, but by how we choose to perceive and respond to them dot our habitual ways of thinking and seeing urging us to transcend limited perspectives that constrain our potential for joy and fulfillment. Often we are conditioned to view life through a lens of judgment and comparison, categorizing experiences as good or bad, desirable or undesirable. This binary thinking, while seemingly natural, limits our ability to fully embrace the richness of our human experience. True happiness arises when we cultivate a mindset of openness and acceptance, recognizing that every moment offers an opportunity for growth and understanding. The prevalent cultural narratives that equate happiness with material success or external validation. He proposes that true happiness emerges from within from a deep sense of connection to the inherent beauty and mystery of existence. When we shift our focus from chasing external rewards to cultivating inner peace and contentment, we discover a profound source of happiness that is not dependent on fleeting circumstances. 
In today's world, mechanistic views often dominate our understanding of reality. We are taught to believe that life is nothing more than a series of biochemical reactions, that consciousness is merely an epiphenomenon of neural activity. Beyond these narrow perspectives and embrace a more holistic understanding of existence. The limitations of reductionist thinking, which seeks to explain the complexity of life through isolated parts and mechanisms. While science has made tremendous strides in understanding the physical world, it often overlooks the profound mystery and interconnectedness that underlies all phenomena. The mechanistic view of reality is akin to looking at the world through a narrow keyhole. It provides a limited perspective that fails to capture the full richness and depth of existence. Life, he argues, is not simply a collection of separate entities and processes, but a dynamic, interconnected web of relationships and energies. The tendency to reduce consciousness to a mere byproduct of brain activity. He suggests that consciousness is not confined to the physical confines of the brain, but is a fundamental aspect of the universe itself, a cosmic dance of energy and awareness that transcends our limited understanding. In embracing this broader perspective, we begin to see life as a profound mystery, a dance of yin and yang, positive and negative, that gives rise to the myriad forms and experiences of existence. Happiness in this context is not merely a fleeting emotion, but a deep understanding and acceptance of our interconnectedness with all beings. Life unfolds as a tapestry woven from contrasting threads, light and darkness, joy and sorrow, growth and decay. To embrace these dualities, not as conflicting forces, but as integral aspects of the cosmic dance of existence. The understanding that happiness arises not from avoiding challenges or seeking perpetual pleasure, but from embracing the full spectrum of human experience. He encourages us to transcend our conditioned responses of resistance and judgment, recognizing that every moment, whether perceived as positive or negative, offers an opportunity for growth and transformation. Consider for a moment the concept of yin and yang, the Yang Zian Chinese philosophy that symbolizes the interplay of opposites. Yang represents light, action, and outward expression, while yin embodies darkness, rest, and introspection. Together, they form a harmonious whole, each complementing and balancing the other in the perpetual dance of life. To apply this principle of yin and yang to our own lives, viewing challenges not as obstacles, but as catalysts for personal and spiritual growth. When we embrace the yin aspects of life moments of stillness, introspection, and acceptance, we create space for profound insights and inner transformation. The modern tendency to seek happiness solely through external achievements or material possessions. He suggests that true happiness emerges from a deep sense of inner peace and contentment, a state of being that transcends the fluctuations of external circumstances. To explore a profound perspective on happiness, one that transcends conventional notions and delves into the essence of living itself. Central to Watt's teachings is the concept that happiness emerges not from external achievements or fleeting pleasures, but from our deep connection with the present moment and the unfolding flow of life. Imagine life as a river, flowing effortlessly along its course, encountering rocks and rapids, yet always moving towards its destination. Approach life with a similar sense of flow and surrender to let go of the need to control every outcome, and instead embrace the natural rhythms of existence. In our modern society, we are often conditioned to pursue success, wealth and status as markers of happiness. True happiness arises when we cultivate a mindset of presence and acceptance. It is in our ability to fully engage with the present moment, whether joyful or challenging, that we discover a profound sense of fulfillment. Our relationship with time and the concept of future-oriented living. He suggests that happiness is not found in constantly striving towards future goals, but in appreciating the beauty and richness of each moment as it unfolds. 
When we release the grip of past regrets and future anxieties, we open ourselves to a deeper connection with life's inherent beauty and wonder. To embrace the paradoxical nature of existence, the simultaneous dance of order and chaos, certainty and uncertainty. He suggests that true happiness emerges when we learn to navigate these dualities with grace and wisdom, understanding that every experience contributes to our growth and evolution as human beings. In the timeless wisdom of Eastern philosophy, we encounter the profound concept of yin and yang. Imagine, if you will, the symbol of yin and yang, a swirling dance of black and white, each containing a seed of the other within its heart. This symbol encapsulates the essence of life's dualities, light and dark, hot and cold, joy and sorrow. Yin represents the receptive, the feminine, the cooling, and the introspective aspects of existence. It is the quiet night that balances the vibrant day, the deep silence that complements the cacophony of sound. Yang, on the other hand, embodies the active, the masculine, the warming, and the outwardly expressive energies. It is the noonday sun illuminating the world, the dynamic force that propels us forward in action. But here's the secret yin and yang are not opposites in the Western sense of being entirely separate entities. Rather, they are complementary forces that interpenetrate and rely on each other for their very existence. Just as day cannot exist without night, nor can joy be known without the contrast of sorrow. Happiness, in its truest sense, extends far beyond the fleeting moments of pleasure or the avoidance of pain. It is a state of being that transcends the fluctuations of emotional highs and lows. Imagine happiness not as a destination to be reached, but as a way of being grounded in the present moment, regardless of external circumstances. When we grasp for pleasure and seek to avoid pain, we perpetuate a cycle of attachment and aversion that only leads to suffering. True happiness lies in understanding that pleasure and pain are inseparable aspects of the human experience. They are like the ebb and flow of the tide, each necessary for the other's existence. In the words of Eastern wisdom, to be and not to be arise mutually, this means that happiness and sadness, joy and sorrow arise together and define each other. Without the contrast of sadness, joy would lose its depth and meaning. Without the experience of pain, pleasure would lack its richness. In our modern world, it is easy to fall into the illusion of separation, the belief that we are distinct and isolated entities in a vast universe. This illusion breeds feelings of loneliness, alienation, and disconnectedness from the world around us. Yet, when we look deeply into the nature of reality, we discover that this separation is just that an illusion. Imagine for a moment that you are standing on the shore, watching the waves of the ocean. From a distance, each wave appears separate and distinct, rising and falling in its own rhythm. But as you gaze more closely, you realize that every wave is made of the same oceanic water. Each wave arises from the depths of the ocean, dances for a moment in the sunlight, and then returns to the source. We are like waves in the ocean of existence. We may appear separate on the surface with our individual thoughts, emotions and experiences, but at our core we are interconnected with all of life. Just as waves cannot exist without the ocean, we cannot exist without the vast web of relationships that sustain us relationships with other beings, with nature and with the cosmos itself. When we recognize this interconnectedness, we shift from a mindset of separation to one of unity and wholeness. We understand that happiness is not found in external achievements or possessions, but in our ability to connect deeply with ourselves and others. It is in cultivating compassion, empathy, and gratitude for the interconnected web of life that we discover true fulfillment. Life is often likened to a dance, a graceful interplay of movement, rhythm, and expression. 
In this dance, we are both the choreographers and the dancers, weaving our way through the unfolding moments of existence. Central to this dance is the concept of impermanence, the understanding that all things, including our thoughts, emotions and experiences, are in a constant state of flux. Imagine yourself on a dance floor, moving fluidly with the music. Each step, each gesture, arises spontaneously and effortlessly. In the same way, life invites us to flow with its rhythms, embracing change as an integral part of our journey. When we resist change and cling to the familiar, we create tension and struggle within ourselves. But when we surrender to the flow of life, we find freedom and ease. The interconnectedness of life is a cosmic dance, a dance where everything is in constant motion, responding to the subtle rhythms of existence. Just as the dancer surrenders to the music, we too can surrender to the unfolding of life, trusting in its wisdom and guidance. The dance of life invites us to cultivate a sense of playfulness and spontaneity. When we approach life with curiosity and openness, we discover new possibilities and opportunities for growth. Each moment becomes an invitation to explore, to learn, and to evolve into the fullest expression of ourselves. In our quest for happiness, we often seek it through external achievements, possessions, or relationships. Yet true freedom and lasting happiness lie not in the pursuit of external gains, but in the journey of self-discovery and inner transformation. Imagine for a moment that happiness is not something to be attained or acquired, but a state of being that arises from within. The importance of transcending the ego, the false sense of self that seeks validation and security through external means. When we identify solely with our roles, possessions, or accomplishments, we limit our true potential for happiness. True freedom begins with the realization that we are not defined by our circumstances or external conditions. Instead, it arises from the deep understanding that our essence is pure awareness, a consciousness that transcends the fluctuations of the mind and the transient nature of worldly experiences. The role of mindfulness and presence in cultivating inner freedom by becoming aware of our thoughts emotions and beliefs without judgment or attachment, we create space for true happiness to emerge. This mindfulness allows us to break free from conditioned patterns of thinking and behavior, opening the door to new possibilities and insights. True freedom involves embracing life's uncertainties and embracing change as an opportunity for growth and transformation. When we resist change or cling to the familiar, we create inattention and suffering. But when we surrender to the flow of life and trust in its inherent wisdom, we discover a profound sense of peace and resilience. In the pursuit of happiness, we often accumulate attachments, attachments to material possessions, relationships, or even our own identities. These attachments can create a sense of security and comfort but they also bind us to a cycle of craving and clinging that leads to suffering. Imagine for a moment the freedom that comes from letting go of these attachments. The importance of non-attachment, the ability to release our grasp on things and experiences without losing our sense of inner peace and contentment. When we loosen our grip on the transient aspects of life, we open ourselves to a sense of freedom and joy. Non-attachment does not mean detachment or indifference. Instead, it is a profound acceptance of the impermanent nature of all things. It is the recognition that everything in life, including our thoughts, emotions and relationships, is in a constant state of flux. When we embrace this impermanence with equanimity, we cultivate resilience and inner strength. The metaphor of the open hand to illustrate the practice of non-attachment. Imagine holding a handful of sand tightly clenched in your fist. The more tightly you hold onto it, the more it slips through your fingers. But when you open your hand and allow the sand to rest gently in your palm, you can appreciate its beauty without trying to possess or control it. 
Non-attachment involves letting go of the ego, the false sense of self that seeks validation and security through external means. When we identify solely with our possessions, achievements or relationships, we limit our capacity for true happiness and fulfillment. By releasing our attachments to these external markers of success, we discover a reservoir of peace and contentment within ourselves. At its core, non-attachment is about living lightly and gracefully in the world. It is about appreciating the richness of life's experiences without becoming ensnared in their fleeting nature. When we let go of attachments, we create space for new possibilities and opportunities to unfold naturally. The concept of embracing the present moment as the key to true happiness and fulfillment. In our fast-paced and often distracted lives, we tend to dwell either in the regrets of the past or the anxieties of the future, rarely fully experiencing the richness of the present. Imagine for a moment the beauty and depth of simply being present. Mindfulness, the practice of paying attention to the present moment without judgment or attachment. When we cultivate mindfulness, we become aware of our thoughts, emotions and sensations as they arise, allowing us to respond to life with clarity and intention. Mindfulness invites us to slow down and savor the simple pleasures of life, the warmth of the sun on our skin, the taste of a delicious meal, the laughter of loved ones. It teaches us to let go of distractions and immerse ourselves fully in the here and now, where true happiness resides. Happiness is the profound importance of living in the present moment. In our fast-paced modern world filled with distractions and demands, the notion of present moment awareness might seem elusive or even impractical. Yet, Watts argues that our ability to be fully present is not only essential for our happiness, but also for our very sense of being. The analogy of time to illustrate the illusion of past and future as concepts that distract us from the reality of the present moment. He pointed out that while we often dwell on past regrets or anxieties about the future, the only moment we ever truly experience is the now. By constantly projecting our thoughts into what has already happened or what might happen, we miss out on the richness and immediacy of life unfolding before us. The concept of mindfulness, which has gained significant popularity in recent years, on present moment awareness, Mindfulness involves paying deliberate attention to the present moment without judgment. It encourages us to observe our thoughts, emotions and sensations as they arise, allowing us to cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Mindfulness is not merely a technique but a way of being a state of heightened awareness that allows us to fully engage with life's experiences. By learning to quiet the incessant chatter of the mind and immerse ourselves in the present moment, we open ourselves to a profound sense of peace and clarity. The importance of spontaneity and playfulness in cultivating present moment awareness. He believed that by approaching life with a childlike curiosity and openness, we can rediscover the wonder and joy inherent in each moment. This playful attitude towards existence encourages us to let go of rigid expectations and embrace the fluidity of life's unfolding journey. The Zen concept of nowness which underscores the immediacy and vibrancy of each moment. According to Zen philosophy, enlightenment or awakening occurs when we fully awaken to the present moment and recognize its infinite potential. Watts extended this idea to suggest that happiness, too, emerges when we let go of our preoccupation with past regrets or future worries and fully immerse ourselves in the here and now. Practicing present moment awareness requires a willingness to let go of habitual patterns of thinking and behaving that keep us tethered to the past or future. It involves cultivating a sense of mindfulness in our daily activities whether it's eating a meal, taking a walk, or engaging in conversation. By bringing our full attention to each moment, 
we deepen our connection to life and open ourselves to the subtle beauty and richness that surround us. The profound implications of our perception of separateness and its impact on our quest for happiness. He suggested that much of our suffering stems from a fundamental misunderstanding that we are separate, isolated individuals navigating a world of distinct entities. Watts challenges this perspective, proposing instead that our perception of separateness is an illusion and illusion that obscures the deeper truth of our interconnectedness with all of existence. From a young age, we are conditioned to view ourselves as separate from the world around us. This sense of separation is reinforced by cultural, societal, and educational systems that emphasize individuality, competition, and self-interest. This perception of separateness is not inherent to our true nature, but rather a learned perspective that obscures our innate sense of unity with the universe. Particularly Advaita Vedanta and Taoism, to explore the concept of oneness according to these traditions, there is an underlying unity that connects all beings and phenomena and interconnected web of existence in which boundaries between self and other dissolve. The metaphor of waves in the ocean to illustrate this concept just as waves arise and fall within the vast expanse of the ocean, so too do individual beings emerge within the unified field of consciousness. The illusion of separateness, according to Watts, fuels a sense of alienation and isolation that perpetuates our search for happiness through external means. We seek fulfillment in relationships, material possessions, achievements and status, believing that these external factors will somehow alleviate our sense of lack or incompleteness. True happiness arises not from external acquisitions, but from an inner recognition of our interconnectedness with all of life. The importance of embracing the present moment as a gateway to genuine happiness and fulfillment. He believed that much of our suffering arises from dwelling on the past or anxiously anticipating the future, thereby missing the richness and beauty of the present moment. The concept of mindfulness or presence according to Zen teachings, true awakening and enlightenment come from being fully present in each moment without attachment to past regrets or future expectations. Watts described mindfulness as a state of heightened awareness and acceptance of the present reality, free from the distortions of ego-driven desires and fears. To illustrate the transformative power of present moment awareness, he compared the mind to a turbulent river, constantly flowing with thoughts, emotions and perceptions. Most people are caught in the currents of this mental river, swept away by worries, regrets and fantasies about the future. By contrast, mindfulness allows us to step onto the riverbank and observe the flow of thoughts without being carried away by them. To practice mindfulness not as a technique for achieving a goal, but as a way of life and ongoing commitment to being fully engaged with each moment as it unfolds. He believed that the present moment is the only place where true happiness can be found as it is free from the burdens of past conditioning and future anxieties. The theme of control and the illusion of separateness that underlies much of human suffering. He posited that our sense of control over life is largely illusory, stemming from a fundamental misunderstanding of our interconnectedness with the universe. The ego is a skin encapsulated ego, a psychological boundary that separates our individual self from the external world. This illusion of separateness gives rise to a perpetual struggle to control and manipulate our surroundings, believing that happiness and fulfillment can be attained through external achievements or possessions. This relentless pursuit of control and security is a misguided attempt to find stability in an inherently unstable world. He argued that the more we cling to the illusion of control, the more we suffer as we resist the natural ebb and flow of life's unpredictable events. Instead of trying to control external circumstances, 
advocated for a radical shift in perspective, a shift from control to surrender. He suggested that true liberation and happiness arise not from exerting control over life, but from surrendering to its inherent flow. This surrender is not a passive resignation, but an active acceptance of reality as it unfolds, free from the distortions of egoic desires and fears. The concept of impermanence and its profound implications for human existence. He explored how our resistance to impermanence, our innate desire for permanence and stability, lies at the root of much suffering and dissatisfaction in life. Everything in the universe is in a constant state of flux, from the stars in the sky to the cells in our bodies. Change is not only inevitable, but is in fact the very essence of life itself. Yet humans often cling to illusions of permanence, seeking to hold on to fleeting moments, relationships and experiences. This attachment, what's argued, creates a fundamental discord between our expectations and the reality of impermanence. The concept that embracing impermanence is key to experiencing true freedom and happiness. When we resist change and cling to the past or anxiously anticipate the future, we deny ourselves the richness and beauty of the present moment. By accepting the transient nature of all things, we can fully engage with life as an ever unfolding dance, appreciating each moment for its unique beauty and significance. The interconnectedness between impermanence and the concept of the eternal now, he posited that the present moment is not just a fleeting instant, but a timeless and infinite continuum that encompasses past, present and future. When we fully immerse ourselves in the present moment, free from the constraints of past regrets or future anxieties, we align ourselves with the eternal flow of existence and experience a profound sense of interconnectedness with all life. What is happiness? Is it merely the absence of sadness? Or does it encompass something more profound? In our quest for understanding, we often seek happiness as an external pursuit of goal to achieve, a stake to attain. But what if happiness isn't something to be pursued, but rather something inherent within our being? Our relationship with happiness. He suggests that true happiness lies not in the pursuit of fleeting pleasures, or the avoidance of pain, but in recognizing and embracing the essence of life itself. It is the joy that arises when we fully inhabit the present moment, free from the burdens of regret about the past or anxiety about the future. The notion of memory is both a blessing and a burden. Memories capture fleeting moments of joy and nostalgia, serving as a window to our personal histories against becoming overly attached to memories as they can distort our perception of reality. When we cling to memories, we risk missing the richness of the present moment, where true happiness unfolds effortlessly. The illusion of time created by memories. He suggests that the past exists only in our minds, while the future is yet to come. The eternal now, he argues, is where life's true essence resides. By releasing our attachment to memories and embracing the present moment, we open ourselves to a deeper experience of happiness, a state that transcends the ebb and flow of external circumstances. In embracing the eternal now, we align ourselves with the flow of life. This state is a profound realization of our interconnectedness with the universe. Here. Happiness is not dependent on external achievements or possessions, but arises naturally from our inherent connection to the vast web of existence. The notion of memory is a double-edged sword, an invaluable tool for preserving cherished moments, yet also a potential trap that binds us to illusions of the past. To examine our relationship with memory and its impact on our pursuit of happiness serve as windows to our personal histories, capturing fleeting moments of joy, nostalgia, and sorrow. They allow us to relive past experiences and derive meaning from our journey through life. Cautions against becoming overly attached to memories. When we cling to the past, we risk distorting our perception of reality and hindering our ability to fully engage with the present moment. 
Embracing the eternal now requires a conscious shift in perspective, a recognition that life's richness and meaning are found in the present moment. State is a profound realization of our interconnectedness with the universe. Here, happiness is not dependent on external circumstances or achievements, but arises naturally from our ability to fully engage with each moment. The eternal now resonate with mindfulness practices and Eastern philosophies. By cultivating mindfulness, we become more aware of our thoughts, emotions, and surroundings. This heightened awareness allows us to let go of attachments to the past and future, enabling us to experience life's joys and challenges with equanimity. The profound unity of samsara and nirvana, a concept rooted in Eastern philosophy that challenges conventional notions of happiness and suffering. Samsara represents the cyclic nature of existence, characterized by life's inevitable challenges, uncertainties, and impermanence. Nirvana, on the other hand, signifies liberation from suffering a state of profound peace, wisdom, and enlightenment. True happiness transcends the dichotomy of samsara and nirvana. It is not merely the absence of suffering or the attainment of fleeting pleasures, but a profound realization of our interconnectedness with the universe. In embracing the unity of samsara and nirvana, we recognize that life's joys and challenges are inseparable aspects of the human experience. The concept of living in the eternal, now a state of profound presence and mindfulness, by fully inhabiting the present moment, free from the burdens of past regrets or future anxieties, we open ourselves to life's inherent beauty and wisdom. This state of presence allows us to experience happiness as a natural expression of our interconnectedness with the universe. The importance of finding balance between attachment and detachment. Attachment enriches our experiences allowing us to form meaningful connections, pursue creative endeavors, and savor moments of joy and love. Excessive attachment can lead to suffering when we cling to ephemeral pleasures or resist inevitable changes. Imply indifference or withdrawal from life's experiences. Instead, it involves a wise discernment, a willingness to engage fully with each moment while remaining unattached to outcomes. By embracing the unity of samsara and nirvana, we can cultivate a balanced perspective that allows for both engagement with life and a sense of inner peace. The transformative power of mindfulness of practice rooted in present moment awareness and non-judgmental acceptance. Mindfulness allows us to cultivate a connection with ourselves and the world around us. By paying attention to our thoughts, emotions and sensations without attachment or aversion, we can develop a profound sense of clarity, compassion and inner peace. To embrace mindfulness as a path to happiness a state that transcends external circumstances and arises naturally from our ability to fully engage with each moment. In practicing mindfulness, we become more attuned to life's subtleties and complexities allowing us to respond to challenges with grace and resilience. The recognition of impermanence, the understanding that all things in life are transient and subject to change. Rather than resisting impermanence, Watts encourages us to embrace it as a natural and essential aspect of the human experience. By accepting the inevitability of change, we can release the grip of attachment and cultivate a sense of equanimity and acceptance. To embrace the paradoxical nature of happiness, a journey that unfolds through the integration of opposing forces such as joy and sorrow, attachment and detachment, and presence and impermanence. Life's paradoxes are not obstacles to happiness, but opportunities for growth, self-discovery, and profound transformation. To view paradoxes as integral aspects of the human experience. For instance, joy and sorrow are interconnected emotions that enrich our understanding of happiness. 
By embracing moments of sorrow with compassion and acceptance, we can deepen our capacity for joy and resilience. The concept of integrating opposites a process that involves finding harmony between conflicting emotions, perspectives and experiences. Dualistic thinking and embrace the unity of opposites as a path to greater wisdom and inner peace. The delicate dance between attachment and detachment, a dynamic interplay that shapes our relationships, desires and sense of fulfillment. Attachment enriches our experiences, allowing us to form meaningful connections and pursue passions with enthusiasm. Excessive attachment can lead to suffering when we cling rigidly to expectations or resist inevitable changes. Detachment does not imply indifference or apathy, but a wise discernment, a willingness to engage fully with life's experiences while maintaining inner freedom and equanimity. By practicing detachment, we cultivate a sense of acceptance and resilience in the face of life's uncertainties. Happiness is the practice of acceptance and gratitude. Acceptance involves embracing life as it unfolds, including its challenges, imperfections and uncertainties. By surrendering to the flow of life, we can release the grip of resistance and cultivate a deeper sense of peace and contentment. The practice of acknowledging and appreciating life's blessings, both big and small, by cultivating a grateful heart, we can shift our focus from what is lacking to what is abundant in our lives, fostering a deeper sense of happiness and fulfillment. To live authentically and mindfully, authenticity involves honoring our true selves, our values, passions and inner wisdom, while cultivating meaningful connections with others. By embracing authenticity, we can align our actions with our deepest aspirations and create a life that is rich in meaning and purpose. Mindfulness is the practice of cultivating present moment awareness and non-judgmental acceptance of our thoughts, emotions and sensations. By practicing mindfulness, we can deepen our connection to ourselves and the world around us, fostering a sense of clarity, compassion and inner peace. The illusion of time, a concept deeply rooted in Eastern philosophy and mystical traditions. Time is not a linear progression of past, present and future, but a continuous flow of moments unfolding in the eternal now. The past and future are mental constructs, illusions created by our minds to make sense of our experiences. Our attachment to the past and future, encouraging us to embrace the present moment, the only moment, that truly exists. By cultivating awareness and presence in the eternal now, we can free ourselves from the grip of regret, anxiety, and anticipation that often accompany our fixation on time. The practice of presence and mindfulness, the art of cultivating awareness and non-judgmental acceptance of our thoughts, emotions, and experiences. By practicing mindfulness, we can deepen our connection to the present moment and awaken to the richness and beauty of life unfolding around us. To engage fully with each moment, recognizing that the present moment is where life's true richness and meaning reside. By letting go of distractions and mental chatter, we can experience a profound sense of peace, clarity and contentment in the eternal now. Our fixation on past regrets and future anxieties. The past exists only as memories and interpretations stored in our minds. Similarly, the future is a projection of our desires, fears and expectations and illusion that distracts us from fully experiencing the present moment. To cultivate appreciation for the here and now a space where we can fully engage with life's possibilities, and embrace the spontaneity and unpredictability of each moment. By releasing our attachment to past narratives and future outcomes, we can open ourselves to the infinite potential and creativity of the present moment. The eternal now is the liberation that comes from letting go of mental constructs and embracing the fluidity of life. By releasing our attachment to past identities, narratives and expectations, we can experience a profound sense of freedom and authenticity in the present moment.